y'all, it's Jen, welcome back. I have a 80% off Hobby Lobby haul. Okay, so let's just get started, shall we? And this is the first thing that I saw and I stuck it straight in my buggy. It's big, so we're gonna have to do this kinda, I don't know how exactly I'm gonna do this, but it's this ginormous windmill picture. Okay, so $59.99 originally. And I paid $12. So, great find. And it was actually the last one. The last one there. So, that is the biggest thing that I bought. This first bag, it's full. And I mean full of galvanized stuff, you guys. So, I walk up and I just grab a bunch of these things. And I'm throwing them in my buggy, which I have a few already that are in my tiered trays as decor. And I seen an idea that was there at Hobby Lobby on the next aisle, which was in the Christmas stuff. I, I took a clip while I was in Hobby Lobby to show you guys what I'm going to do. And I'll just attach that clip at the end of the video. But um, I got, let's see, I got this. Which is the two little buckets together. It was $3.99. I paid 80 cents. I got this little galvanized bucket. $2.99 originally. I paid 60 cents for that one. This little pitcher was $3.99 originally. Same price as the two bucket one. This little milk jug bucket, $2.99. So that one was 60 cents. Another one. And I got, let's see, one, three of these. Okay, I thought I grabbed like two or three of the same thing on each one, but evidently I didn't. Okay, so this one is the only one I got of this. Um, this was $1.99 originally. I paid 40 cents for that one. And these are were $1.99 as well. So these are were also 40 cents. They're a little bit different. Um, let's see. And then I got this. Um little bucket here $2.99 originally um this one as well that was $3.99 originally this is the only one in this style that I got as well this one was $1.99 originally and like I said the $1.99 things were um 40 cents duh okay 40 cents. This one is a little picture, a picture, excuse me. That one right there, it's really cute. And then I got, let's see, I got one, two, three of those. And then I got, I already have one of these as well in one of my tier trays. This one was $2.99. So I got two more of these. So this picture actually has the little spout thingy on the end. So it's a little bit different design and it's bigger. This is a little bit more dainty. But this entire bag was nothing but those metal things. Next thing I got was this little thing. Like I said, my kitchen is this color gray. Um, turquoise, white, and a little bit of black. Uh, this sucker, 99 cents. Originally, so it was 20 cents. Next, this. I actually got two of these. This one is white. Um, they were $20. $4 for these. Like I said, I got this one, which is white. And I got another one. This one is brown, and I'm just going to paint it white to match this one and distress it. And then uh, this Christmas, I'm going to put a couple of little Christmas trees 
and dyed these and put them on my porch, probably. Or somewhere in the house if I decided to put them in the house. But they'll probably be out on the porch. I just thought these were too good to pass up. Especially to use as decor at Christmas time. Next. Okay, there were a few things that did not have price tags on them. So the cashier just put in a price. And I, I'm pretty sure it was like a dollar ninety nine that she put in for these things. Um, this one was the last one that I, I'm assuming that they have because I didn't see any more. Um, and it's missing the handle. Here, let me show you the... I've already got one of these. It's one of my three-tiered trays. The one I have on my dining room table. But, um, here's what it looks like in the handle. So, what I'm going to do, um, this one, I've just got some of that little moss stuff in there and a little LED flameless candle. But, uh, and I turn it on at night. Use it for the ambiance. But anyway, uh, this, like I said, I think she put in a dollar nine now. But what I'm going to do is just maybe loop some twine in here. Or even, like, have my husband bend these down in there and just use it like this as a candle holder itself. Then this, this solid wood, um, it was $4.99. It says homegrown. Thought it was just too cute to pass up. It's a little distressed. Put it in one of my tear trays or somewhere around the house. And I also grabbed this little thing right here to put... I have two little um, milk glass salt and pepper shakers. This right here, the little dairy thing. And mine are um, salt and pepper shakers. And I'm going to distress this with a little white chalk paint and put my little milk jug salt and pepper shakers down in here and put it in my kitchen. But this. $3.99 originally. And then I grabbed these two. To me, these kind of look like little tiny water and troughs. Um, these were $2.99 originally. So that's it for this bag. Next. One of my favorite things that I've got from the haul. Got. I couldn't pass this up. So yeah, it's a scoop. Um, it's got the little round legs attached to it. This was $15.99 originally. And I only paid $3.20, you guys. So, I'm going to put some floral in here. Just to give you guys an idea of what I'm going to do. I grabbed a few floral stems at the Dollar Tree as well. Here's kind of what I'm going to be doing with this stuff. See? You'll have to bend these up to push them, you know, bend the stems up to push it back up in there. But I thought it would be really cute to set out for Thanksgiving and have, you know, throw a couple of little pumpkins in there and things like that would go cute with these. Like I said, I grabbed these uh, at the Dollar Tree the other day. That's all I got at the Dollar Tree. Okay. This, you guys, burlap table runner i've been wanting one of these forever and the girl put it in for a dollar 99 80 percent off really so that's probably one of my best deals from today next yay okay $17.99. I thought about maybe putting this on the inside of a tobacco basket. And the only ones that they really had left was a square one. So I don't know. Maybe I can put it in there like diagonally or whatever. So like I said, that was $17.99. And I paid $3.60 for that. This one. Farm to table and table to soul. If that is not a southern saying, y'all, I have no idea what else is. Besides, mind your own biscuits and life will be gravy or kiss my grits. My grandmother used to say that all the time. She did not curse, but you make her mad, she turned around to you to kiss her grits. 
This was $20, so four bucks. Okay. The next thing I got, this home sweet farmhouse. I've been wanting something that said this for a long time. I really, really liked the pillows that they had at Kirkland's, but they were white. I don't do white in my house, even though I love farmhouse. Um, the core is white, you know, some of the core is white, but like a couch, pillows, a blanket, not happening in my house. Um, I have too many friends and relatives that have little ones, and we all know what happens when you have white furniture and things like that with the little ones around. It gets dirty fast, and sometimes you can't get stuff out of it, so I don't do what. Um, oh, I'm sorry, this was also $20 as well, you guys, so I paid four bucks for it. Um, you can hang it up. It has the two things to hang it up. But one of the things that I was thinking about, you could also, since it has like the little lip around the edges, you could use this as a tray. Here, let me just show you. And use it as a tray to sit cute little things on. It's like, hey, multi-purpose, right? More of an excuse to get it. So, I got this. Loved it. Tobacco basket. Alright, let's see. This one, 17 no, 20 Four bucks is what I paid for this. I really, really like these ones with the, the metal accent on the inside. Um, I wanted a long one, but they didn't have, you know, the rectangular ones. And they didn't have any of those left. So, all they had was these square ones. And I went ahead and grabbed one of those. Um, but... Let's see if this is going to work out. <gasps> How awesome is this, you guys? Okay, so that's probably what I'll do. Figure out some way to put this inside there. Um, without being wobbly or whatever, my husband can help me out with that. But I think this is so awesome. And then you could, like, put a wreath behind here. Like, maybe one of those smaller... Um, what are they called? Lamb's ear wreath. Put that behind here or some other floral to kind of accent that in the background. I think that would be really awesome to do. Okay, there's an idea, you guys. This was my most favorite thing from yesterday. And it's sitting on my table and I about forgot to show you guys. Oh my goodness. This was my absolute favorite, favorite thing. It's got a tiny little base. It's not very tall. This sucker was not in the spring stuff. It was $25, and I did use my 40% off coupon. So, this is the only thing that I did not get on sale. And my total for everything that I bought was, after taxes, was $80.61. Let's see if it says how much I saved. Oh, yeah, there we go. Total savings was $200. $49.61. Oh my goodness. So I got over $300 worth of things for $80.61, you guys. That, that's awesome. That's when I love to go to stores. Like I said, your girl doesn't pay full price for anything. And that's my favorite time to hit the stores is when they're having these big sales, changing seasons, changing holidays, whatever. That's when I go. I really appreciate you guys joining me for this Hobby Lobby 80% off spring decor haul. And I hope you guys come back for many more hauls and DIYs, whatever I can think of to put on YouTube to share with you guys. Bye y'all. You guys, look at this. These two pack, eight dollars. The, these little buckets, eight dollars. Look at that, eight bucks for all of these. And all of this stuff is 80% off right now in the spring shop. And all you have to do is tie some twine from the Dollar Tree on it to make ornaments. How crazy is that?